I'm Charlie Levy and this is a Hangzhou Travel Guide. Placed just inland of China's east coast, Hangzhou is only a one-hour train journey from Shanghai, easily accessible for someone choosing the megacity as a hub for some further exploration. Welcome to the Yutuan campus of Zhejiang University here in Hangzhou. And behind me, you can see one of the most famous, if not the most famous character in modern Chinese history, Mao Zedong. The most famous spot in Hangzhou is the West Lake, which today stands as the cultural centre of the city. This serene and ancient attraction is storied throughout all of China. It's the perfect spot to go for a walk, to admire the gorgeous surroundings. While often this is a peaceful retreat to escape to, on weekends and public holidays, you can expect plenty of people strolling along the shorefront. And that's just a result of a national holiday. So, I mean, it just so happens that whenever I have free time, the rest of China does as well. So. I spoke to a few other people around Westlake and asked them to describe Hangzhou in one phrase. Yong yi ge lai xing rong Hangzhou. why do you use the word beautiful? Because the West Lake and the scenery is very beautiful. Yes. And the people are beautiful. The people are beautiful. Yeah, you meet a lot of beautiful girls. Oh yeah. I also took the time to ask some people a little bit about themselves. This man comes to the West Lakeside every day to practice his traditional Chinese instruments. I took the opportunity to get to know a little bit more about him. Fairchild 我本身比较喜欢西面 west side of Shihu is a verdant wonderland of tea fields, forest and mountains capped with temples. There are countless green spaces here to explore. This peak is Bei Gaofeng and provides a staggering view of the wonderful surroundings. 
Let's not forget that Hangzhou is a bustling metropolis with a population of 9 million people. While Hangzhou's more classic aspect have, for the some part, been preserved, the city aside the lake has grown and transformed. The metro line is not as extensive as you might find in other cities. It only has a few lines, and they are mainly for commuting to Hangzhou's outer-lying residential areas of the city. However, depending on your location and the journey you are planning to take, it could be the fastest and most convenient method. There are three metro stations alongside the West Lake, which means it's nicely accessible. Take a look at the map and see if it's going to be right for you. Hangzhou was the first city in China to have a dedicated cycling road. Alongside the main driving road is a narrow walkway-like road which is specifically designed for cyclists. Travellers can take advantage of this by renting one of the many coloured bikes or hire dotted around the city. You can get hold of these by scanning the barcode with WeChat. In my opinion, cycling is the best way to see Hangzhou. So to get a taste of some interesting Chinese street food, we've gone to Hangzhou's Ancient Street, which is another one of its famous tourist attractions. Helping me select the most interesting of Thai available is my friend Sun, who is a Hangzhou local. Mm. <laughs> This is stinky tofu, uh, very very famous thing in China. The clue is in the name, stinky. It smells absolutely hideous, but it's apparently very delicious and I'm going to try it now for the first time. If you can cope with the terrible, terrible smell, then it's worth that amazing taste, honestly. But, maybe not for everyone. Just how I like it. Big and made of crab. Have a look at that. That, my friend, is three crabs on a stick. It's been uh, seasoned with some spicy dressing. And the inside is basically hollow, so if you you've got a taste for chessin, <laughs> try this out, my shallows. Right. <laughs> Void the claws. There ain't nothing in there. We also ran into some other interesting wares available for purchase. See, <laughs> Shama. You buy the peeler, which is basically a cu cucumber peeler, it. and then you just soft. and then you stick it on your face. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Wow! That's so beautiful. Well, the people <laughs> and she can't. Well, the people and she can't. I'm going to remove the cucumber, and all my wrinkles will have disappeared. <laughs> Okay, well that was it, my Hangzhou travel guide. I'm Charlie Levy. I really recommend you come down to Hangzhou and just see what it's all about. I'll see you around.